They're basically doing a good old fashioned ransom job. They got collectors sitting out there in the streets of Guadalajara wearing white t-shirts and waving little flags that say, I paid my $350. Please send me my Memphisto. Por favor, mandame Memphisto. Lo necesito en mi colección. Welcome back, True Believers, Elite Legend, back at you guys with another Marvel Legends video. And the last time the Elite Legend did a Marvel Legends video, I got a lot of backlash from shills in the Marvel Legends community. And since then, there has been a proverbial civil war on Facebook groups, on Instagram, all across the Marvel Legends collecting community. People are coming at each other. Shills are battling non-shills. Influencers are battling one another over the extremely divisive Hasbro Pulse, Haslab, Robbie Reyes, Engine of Vengeance, aka Engine of Bullshit, Haslab Project for 2022. That's right. The brand new Haslab comes at a hefty price point, $350 to be exact, for Robbie Reyes. Let them baby, who in the pot is Robbie Reyes? And why the hell did it cost $350? At a time of inflation, at a time when the textile workers, Dusty, come on, it's not 1986. Well, let them baby, Russia is disrupting everything in the United States, and that is why Hasbro has raised the prices to extreme level for the item that they make in a factory in China, baby. That's true, Dusty. Hard times, baby. Hard times if you will. All right, Dusty. Dusty's really fired up. Dusty's really passionate about inflation. It's bullshit, baby. All right, Dusty. That's enough. That's enough. Family channel. Let's not talk about bullshit. Although <laughs> the Haslab is a bunch of bullshit. So I'll give you a pass on that, Dusty. $350. Right now, you have to back this project by Friday, September 23rd at midnight in order to ensure yourself getting the flaming, actually the non-flaming, Robbie Reyes. Look at baby, looking like a Mexican Jeff Hardy. All right, thank you, Dusty. Yes, this does appear to be a Mexican Jeff Hardy. He has that little streak in his hair. He has those gray pants. And people were saying... That this Ghost Rider figure is going to be an all-new sculpt. However, an uh, individual was able to determine that this figure actually shares the same body as Longshot. Now, that is going to be an original sculpt when Longshot comes out. However, it, it, it doesn't matter. But it's not an original sculpt. Now, one of the Barbie twins, Dan son. Is he's trying. He made a statement recently to address the tiers and what's going to be coming and what we can expect from this $350 project. And he said, hey, yo, fam, the tiers will be of a demonic persuasion that are not necessarily tied into Robbie Reyes, yo. There'll also be six-inch figures, though, and not other accessories like bikes or horses, which are great ideas, by the way. Again, if this Haslab is not for you, then no worries. Thanks, peace, and word to your mother. All right. So Dan Yeon, he's trying to communicate. He's trying to present some transparency. Listen, baby, transparency. That is when you have a young lady and you tell her to stand on top of a coffee table, a glass coffee table, and you are underneath that coffee table and you start doing, Dusty, come on, that is not what transparency is. What is your problem? Jeez, Louise. Louise, baby. Dusty! Cut his mic. So that's right. Essentially, the figures that are going to be part of the tiers are going to be the usual suspects. Not associated with Robbie Reyes because Robbie Reyes, let's be honest, he never sold comics. Let's be honest. The social justice warriors that created Robbie Reyes in 2014 cannot come up with any type of characters that are interesting enough 
any type of original characters. Remember, they piggybacked off of the popularity of Ghost Rider to create Robbie D. Reyes. Robbie D. The linguistics majors are going to come for me. They piggybacked off of the popularity of a character that had been around for 40 years and just did a little race swap. Instead of having him in a motorcycle, they put him on a bicycle. Uh, oh, it, not a bicycle, my bad. They put him in a Dodge Charger, but you can't call it the Charger because of licensing fees. So they put him in a Hell Charger, or it doesn't matter what it's called. They decided to piggyback off of the popularity of a 40-year-old character. And now, 50 years into the character, they are celebrating Ghost Rider, but not Danny Ketch or Johnny Blaze. Or any of the characters that those Ghost Riders battled. Because these Ghost Rider characters that they've created since are characters like these. They are um, Guero and Grumpy. They are Ida. They are... Poison Nitro. Or is that Piston Nitro? I don't know who any of these people are. We have the Glory Hole Samurai. We have the Baroness Blood. Oh, that's really creative. We have an evil clone of Squirrel Girl who actually killed Retailer Enthusiasm. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. We'll cover that next time. We also have a boy band version of Memphisto and Dracula the Third. Wow. And also, remember, we also have, um, who's another one of those guys? Um, it's, um, is it Kid, Kid Man Thing or Baby Man Thing? That's another one of Robbie Reyes' super amazing villains that we won't see in this project because they're not interesting. Just like Robbie Reyes isn't interesting. But Hasbro decided that they're going to make fools of the community and they're going to charge you $350 for an item that is not worth $100. Maybe with the tears, but... They are holding Memphisto Ransom. We know what he goes for in the secondary market. They are holding Vengeance Ransom. They are holding Blackheart Ransom. And the only way the Elite Legend is going to pay this Ransom, if they're going to give us versions of those figures that I already have in my collection from Toy Biz, they better make them deluxe. They better make them badass. And they better release at least three non-released Ghost Rider villains. That's the only way I'm paying the $350 Ransom. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the tiers? Do you think that this is going to be back? Right now, they are sitting at 3,879,000 ,000 backers at the time that I recorded this. They need 9,000 backers for the early bird by September 23rd. So do you think they're going to reach that early bird on lock? What do you think the tiers are going to be? Let me know in the comments. And do you think this will get funded? Tune in soon for an update. Now, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of my next videos. I drop content regularly, so you don't want to miss that. Follow the Elite Legend on Instagram by hitting that code. Also, I started a Facebook toy group called Elite Toy Collectors. Follow the fam there. Check out my Marvel Legends playlist. I have over 100 Marvel Legends videos in there. Check out the Elite Legends G.I. Joe Classified Series videos in my playlist. Over 100 videos there as well. Thrift hauls. I find a McFarlane Spider-Man in the wild. So you don't want to miss that. And until next time, make mine Marvel.